What would you do if you were a chair? Would you try and explore the city? Or would you think about life and everything it contains? This story is about a chair who survives a great adventure, which makes him think deeper about the meanings of life. No Gaiman Stool. I want to get rid of that chair. Why? You know, it's getting old and it looks like crap. It doesn't fit in my living room anymore. But I don't know what to do with it. You could bring it to the big chair burning party. A lot of chairs live an awful life. Most are in pain, waiting for an execution. But people do not realize that a chair is the most important part of the furniture. And that it has a soul. Our chair went to the chair burning party. Butcher, in the paper it says, a sort of seed process. Sir, I cannot understand what you're saying. Another chair. Indeed, here's my license. You have to put your chair away from the pile of chairs. It will go with the next bunch. I didn't know it was arranged by the army. Makes two of us, I guess chair burning is a sensitive job. Can I have your attention please? Thank you. What a lovely day to burn some chairs, isn't it? It sure is. Let's fire it up. Stop it. For the sake of the chairs. Except for one. The chair has been found by an Australian couple. But surviving this adventure made the chair think about the philosophy of life. About the things he might be doing if he wasn't a chair. Like he always dreamed of being a news presenter. Making people happy by bringing them the daily news to fulfill their daily routine. He also wanted to fly a helicopter, being above all the problems the people bring with them as they sit on him. 
but most of all, he wants to read the book to let the intelligence flow through his wood. To read about him being a cowboy or some other kind of hero. But those things aren't on his scene, he just serves the people who want their butts to rest. That is the fate of a chair. Thank you.